Twisted Sniper 42 here at Sniper Scale Models. Uh, been a long time, guys. Um, you guys have started your 2019 uh, Pro Street builds. This is as far as I got with the 2018. Um, it's got paint on it now, as you can see. This lovely orange. Uh, this orange is. Let's see if I can grab it. This orange is a zero paint. It's a uh, Hitachi excavator orange. Uh, I quite like the colour. Um, I've now fixed the issues with the flip front. It now flips and sits and closes straight. That's all good. Um, suspension is pretty much built. Uh, I've had to cut out a section here of the floorboard and God, make my own firewall at the back here, also putting the rivets in as you know, to accommodate the original motor, which does not sit, it does not sit in it whatsoever. Um, I've got it in primer, it's mocked out, I've got a couple of things. I don't think they're quite in the right place, but <clears throat> we're see that's not that nothing's glued on yet. It's just all tacked together. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much as far as I've got with this so far. <clears throat> um, I've been really busy, uh, to tell the truth. Um, life's pretty busy at home. Um, the company that I work for, I'm basically project managing uh, the move. We're moving into a building that's six times the size of what we've got now. Um, we've got a couple of huge new machines going coming in. Um, it's all got to be put in and networked. Um, getting there, but it's just I'm spending a lot of time at work and uh, not getting a lot of time to hobby, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the, uh, the, only, the only problem. But I am, you know, I am doing a few bits here and there. I'm working on, started working back on this again. Uh, I'm working a little bit on the CP101 build. Yes, that finished ages ago, I know, but you know me. Things don't, you know, take a long time with me. Um, but that's coming on a little bit. So I've got all this glued in. Um, got the new frame sections put in. The ladder bars there are in the four link, so it's coming on slowly. Um, what else? My group build, you can see it's a little bit dusty. Um, we've got paint on it, as you can see. This is actually what is that? uh, that's Selba, Selba blue, dark blue, uh, which is obviously an F1 color. Uh, again, I've Painted. This is pretty much as good far as I've got with it. You can see how dusty it is. But yeah, I've, that's as far as I've got with that one. Uh, I will get back to it. Uh, I have also, as you can see, this is pretty dusty. Repainted the VIP for about the fiftieth time. Um, it's you know, you can still see where it cracked but there's not a lot I can do with that. I want to finish it because I love the, the body style of this, but again, that's as far as I got with it. So, again, sitting up there with loads of dust. Uh, and there is a few other projects. There's the Supra still there, and also the 26T, which had the disaster fall. Um, I want to get on with that some time I have been doing other stuff um, as you guys know I love the Blood Bowl and Warhammer stuff um, I've been actually buying a lot of Blood Bowl stuff um, the figures the uh, Blood Bowl Orcs are nearly done now 
they're getting there, they're nearly done. Uh, hair's got to be painted, etc. etc. But they get they're nearly there. Um, I'm working on a load of stuff. Uh, the dwarfs still, I've got a few more of these to finish. And none of them got. So I've got those done. Uh, started ready. I've also got the humans human team that is now put together and base coated. Uh, I've just got to put the base colours on. And there's the rest of the dwarfs. Um, what else have I got? I bought the new Doom Lords. I bought second edition Blood Bowl. Um, incomplete, but I've nearly completed it now. Uh, I've also got third edition. Uh, I'm just looking for a human team for that and the dice is but the dice is neither here nor there I can probably I can sort those out at some stage um, but what else have I bought uh, bought a load of this is the quick shade but I've got a load of uh, army painter paints uh, bought I've also bought a ton more of the Citadel colours, but I've, I've put them in dropper bottles because if anybody's ever used uh, Citadel colours, uh, these are the washes. I leave those in here for the time being. But if anybody's ever bought these, they will tell you they haven't. But they actually design these lids so that, that they don't actually close properly. And what happens is it dries your paint out and therefore having to buy more paint and it's not the cheapest paint available to be honest but it's a bit naughty but that's what they do and they've denied it but there I know a couple of people in the industry that have actually talked to what well, actually was I should say talked to they actually worked for them and uh, they said, yeah, it was a deliberate design. But you wouldn't think they'd do that, but you know, it's neither here nor there, I don't care. That's why I changed them, it makes my life easy. And that way, um, what else have I done? Bought kit wise, I've bought nothing. I've been told I'm not allowed. I have too many. I don't think I have enough, but I have too many. Um, other than that, life's, you know, life's been soldiering on. Uh, hi, I've been watching your guys' videos a lot more recently. Um, I've been watching. Uh, uh, I literally just finished watching Gary G uh, and the Mean Machine. Very nice build. Um, I joined that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just looking up at the computer. I can see that uh, the last post was Mad Genius Productions. Uh, and that was his Pro Street build. So I'm going to watch that one, guys. I'm going to let you go because you've heard me jabber for long enough. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. Uh, there will be a couple of videos in the corner as always. And I shall see you guys later. Thank you very much. See you later.